Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I want to do a video telling you how to successfully pass WGU C172 Networking Security Fundamentals. One of the most important things that you can do when you start studying for this class besides doing your research online, obviously, is to download this little graphic or this little picture right here. Um, if you don't have this graphic, you can get it from your course mentor or you can check out one of the webinars. I forget what webinar it was in. I basically made a screenshot of the webinar and that's how I got this graphic. The way I used this was I focused my areas of study based on the highest concentration of questions to the least concentration of questions. So as you can see uh, right here, 19 questions alone are coming from the TCP IP model. 14 questions are coming from network security. 12 questions are coming from wireless networks. 11 questions are coming from network fundamentals. Nine questions are coming from network devices. So like I said, this guide is really handy. It allows you to focus your study efforts. Um, let me take you to some more resources that I use. I also use Pluralsight. Um, for those of you who know or may not know, as a WGU student, you do have uh, free access to Pluralsight. This course is CompTIA Network Plus N10007 by Ross Bagertis on Pluralsight. It's highly recommended. Now, of course, they do have Linda, and we have, uh, there's Mike Myers on Linda, who also has a Network uh, network Plus course that you can have, you have access to. But I really like Ross Bagertis' course because he made it interesting and he kind of went a little bit more in depth than Mike Myers, at least in my opinion. The second source that I did use is Professor Messer. And Professor Messer also has this Network Plus course, N10007, on his website. Now, to be honest, um, the WGU book that they have kind of focus on the expired network plus certifications. Um, it kind of focuses on a little bit of a realm of N10006 and slightly some information that was on N10005. But to be honest, you can get away with either one, the N10006, N10007, at least using those resources as study material to help you in this class. Professor Messer also has some notes uh, that's available for purchase if you go to his website. And uh, these notes right here are, are really, really great. Whether if you're going to use it for the C172 or if you plan on taking a Network Plus certification. Um, these, notes, these notes are really good. Also, too, um, the book that they have you to read for the class, I know they ask you to read chapters go over chapters one through six and go over chapter 12 so you basically skip in what seven through 11 um some of the things that i definitely do remember some of the biggest areas at least when it comes to network security is going to be network attacks definitely know your network attacks if you're going to spend time studying network security I would focus most of my effort on network attacks because I got a huge concentration of questions. If not all my questions were regarding network attacks. Wireless networks is also a big one. Um, there is a quite a bit of wireless network questions. So make sure you know your wireless standards and speeds, your A, B, G, N, A, C. Know the speed, the frequencies. Um, the TCP IP and the OSI model, definitely know that like the back of your hand know all the levels of the TCP IP and the OSI model and know what protocol functions at each level of those models and know what those protocols do and what services they provide. Um, also too, know what network devices do, what different network devices do, whether if you're talking to access point, a switch, a hub, a router, a range extender, definitely know the fundamentals of what network devices do. Now, the elephant in a room, subnetting. There were few, very few subnetting questions. Um, mainly the subnetting questions pertain to 
they gave you the CIDR notation and the IP address, and you just basically had to figure out the, the subnet mask. It wasn't no how many, calculate how many hosts or how many subnets. No, they, it's just basic, you know, what's the subnet mask given this slider notation. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else besides that? Oh, fiber. I wouldn't worry too much about fiber. Uh, fiber, uh, building wiring, the EI. The EIA, TIA, cable pin outs. Uh, I wouldn't focus too, too much on that. Most of the exam, like I said, was network attacks, which falls upon the network security, wireless networks, TCP IP, and OSI model, networking devices, and networking fundamentals. So don't get too caught up and be afraid to subnet. There's not a lot of subnetting. Um, it's, it's just basically knowing the basics so utilize some of these resources you can utilize the course textbook um i basically skimmed through the textbook on i was basically using the textbook to focus on my weak areas i did not use the u certified material nor did i take any practice tests or anything but that's just because i've been kind of learning networking for about a year off and on uh, which is the reason why I didn't take any practice tests. But the U-certified material, in my opinion, is horrible. It's garbage. You can look up online and a lot of people talk bad about it. So, yeah, there's just some short tips that I want to give you guys. If I miss anything, I would do another video or feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and just let me know how your journey is going with WGU and or any certification exam. Peace.